Oh, it's story it's time. It's story time, so it's also where Should, you are. Where do we begin? It is also, but before that, I'm just going to say, uh, for the people oh, yeah. who are, you know, haven't played the game, the non-spoilers uh, end here. It is all spoilers from here to the beginning, or from here to the end. So, yeah. So there, um, so it's finally time to talk about the narrative. So, um. Oh, boy. <laughs> let's talk about some uh, actually okay where do we want should to start? we start off on a good note or do I, I mean i don't know where to really begin with this because there's so much to talk about the narrative and um with how it's structured because anybody who's uh re seen the trailers read into articles about it they all know um about how what goes on in this game noctis's father dies uh, is assassinated, his city's taken over, and, um, you know, there's a lot that they did show off, and that's a bit bothering for me. Um, one issue, okay, w another issue that I have with the narrative, I am bothered that you really do need to see King Sclave before. Oh, there's so much you need to see for this. Well, you don't, King's Glaive is a necessity, which, um, is its own standalone movie, it is two hours long, not even two hours long, but it's there because they don't want you to sit through two hours of cutscenes at the very beginning. Yeah. And it's why the game just starts right out out the window. But I think they should have been more clear. Watch the movie before you play the game. But even still, yeah. it really does rely... You can get it and still get a gist of everything. But you are going to have to be saying, oh, the king dies. Uh, uh, all right. Sure. Yeah, they, they, just give you, they give you scenes from the movie of the king dying. And it's just like, okay. I mean, to be fair... <laughs> You don't need to know about any of the other characters, but it really does help to be able to get immersed in this sort of story. To know that mm -hmm. all this stuff happens before, and then it just, you know, at the end of the King's Clay movie, it's like, oh, we had a car crash. It's almost done as an ironic set, and when you go right into the game, it's almost ironic. Because it's just like, you know what's going to happen. You know that Noctis is going to be going through so much despair. But yes, he goes. Yeah. King Regis dies. Oh my God. Um, the shit Noctis goes through in this story it sucks. And I feel so bad for because, him because what he he loses so much. And you know, you know what the worst part about all of this? You know, it's like King Regis. He knows exactly what Noctis is um, gonna happen because Noctis is not being christened for ch kinghood he is being christened no he's he is a sacrifice he is the messiah he is literally being christened to be the final fantasy jesus yeah <laughs> your final fantasy emo jesus yeah yeah um king regis knows that his father knows that but he has to it's Oh, it's man. why he's so distant. I think that's ultimately why he's just so, you know, it's just, he he has a lot of shame because he knows that, you know, this, his child is going to have He hides it from his son. Yeah, he hides it from his son because he couldn't bear to see that sort of despair. And he knows that he wouldn't be able to do his job to the best that he possibly could at this point. It's, it, it's a very interesting relationship that is woefully underdeveloped, unfortunately. And Luna Freya also knows it, and she never tells him either, which, do you take issue with that? That, you know, there's so much that's going to happen to him, and they know this, How? but they don't tell him. How long do you think Luna knew about his fate, though? Because, if knew. for those that don't know, Luna, Luna Freya is sort of an oracle of the game. Uh, she is a natural healer for people. Um, she but would be the healing Do class. you think she, she, was, she knew from... She was part of your party. Oh, yeah. Um, but do you think she knew from childhood? That may be. We don't know, though, and the game Cause... doesn't elaborate on it. As far as we know, um, when she was crying, I think it might, she might not have known. I mean, she knew a sort of idea of all the roles, but, you know, she was, like, crying uh, when she was on that chair yeah. and when um, his brother consulted her. I think it m maybe that's why, but... She was under a lot of pressure at that point, and I think that, you know, the fact that she couldn't sit down and tell oh, him, and man. I think she was going to sit down and tell him if she wasn't going to be stabbed by that asshole. Arden. Arden. Fuck Arden, dude. 
I love him as a character, but he's also such an asshole. He's an asshole okay. And a lot of people have debated his motives because his motives are questionable. But the basically the the strongest. He's he's out for a grudge. Okay. That's his main he motive, is, but, at least to but me but anyway. Here's the thing. Um, it's like he was a previous king, and he was rejected by the gods. So out of spite, he was supposed to be the he was supposed to be the king of light, the first king of light. Yes. And then the gods, I guess, saw him as unworthy, and they so they him made him the king of darkness instead. These guys are idiots. What the? F the gods in this in this game are such okay. imbeciles. I mean, he's also suffering every single second. So that's another thing. He's yeah. He, he's probably in pain that's all the time. That's probably why he's such a dick and he's so evil because he literally maybe that's his way of coping. But really, it's just he just wants to be a jerk to everybody because uh, people were he didn't get his way. his way. And you know that's why he's and you know he has that sort of suave personality, and it's why you both love and sort of hate him at the same time. From what I hear, his, his, the closest comparison is Kafka. Kefka. Yes, it is very similar to Kefka. Aside, Kefka was an insane, insane ruler, dictator. Arden is the suave sort of gambler sort of mentality with him, um, but he's also very, very much insane yes, as well. So that's why they draw the comparisons. Um, no, is he is. Destruction of the world. He wants. To, he wants to rule it and have it in the. He wants to rule it his own way. Yeah, and you know that. Does and go that go way is, you know, sort of thing. It does. It is a very cliched sort of motivation, which is a little disappointing for his character. But regardless, his plan for, um, his plan, the because a lot of world people, domination. Because people are really confused about why he doesn't just kill Noctis throughout the games, throughout the game. But apparently, it's like the ring that he wears, uh, is the sign or the connection of all of the kings of Lucis, and yes. I think what they're trying to go with is that if he killed Noctis, there would be another king somehow. Maybe like an avatar. Story. There would be another chosen there one. There would be, but you know, okay, so there is that what they said? There would be another chosen one? That's basically what there, there will be another chosen one later down the road, and he will have to deal with him then. Yeah. It is really just him trying to prolong the inevitable. Yeah, and so he's trying to just get rid of everyone for good. So that makes sense. I wish the game made that more clear. Because I don't yeah. think it makes it 100% clear about that. Does it? No, and that's really the main issue with the narrative for me, is that this story is very not clear in a lot of areas. You can tell where they're going with. It's like, I can tell... It's like now that I understand that, you, yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense because the skeleton very, is there. The meat to, is not. Uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender, where they didn't want to kill a uh, uh, Aang right there because you know um, it's like when he was in captivity. There'll just be another Avatar. Though, to be fair, um, you know my, my, the only problem with that is that there would have been another. There would have never been any more Airbenders at that point. So the next Avatar would not have been able to uh learn airbending and he wouldn't have been able to stop the fire lord so they might as well kill ang because it's just a longer term sort of thing but the bad guys want to kill him right then because they just wanted to end yeah and so that's their sort of downfall they, that's the only problem with that story but you know that's drastically off topic but regardless even this this sort of it's like now that i hear it and now that i'm processing it it makes sense why arden would want to do it but it's like i google search this and heard because I was really confused. And, um, <laughs> uh, and can we talk about it's like, you know, I know we're going way ahead, but can we talk about that ending? With, you mean, as in after Everyone the credits dead. roll? And... Yeah. And I don't think the game made it completely clear that Ignis, not, uh, at Ignis Prompto and Gladio died, but. They're there at the very end, you know, as spirit. They're right at the very end, the whole... Are they? they, they remember remember what they showed up as part of our... Um, but that also doesn't make sense, because they didn't make a pact with the gods. So they shouldn't be there. They shouldn't be traveling the, in that sort of place. They party. really... So, are they dead? I don't think so. I think they were just images. Which, they don't clarify that specifically, but either. people debate that they're dead, and... 
Wait, wait. Was um, Gladio's sister there? I no, think so. No. Or was she? No. I don't think she was. Okay. But um, regardless, um, it was, and you know, um, also was that weird that Noctis, you know, talking to them before the fight, or you know, that that the, the talk was after the credits. Why wasn't it before? You you mean is in the one where he tries to tell them? Yeah. Yeah, he he tries to tell them how they're like his closest friends and brothers to him. I believe that that should have been before. Yeah. yeah. That really there should have been no before the final for assault. It to be in the credits. Also, um But and you know the whole thing with Noctis and them Luna Freya. It's like I was confused for a second and then I realized, oh wait, this is the afterlife. They're not actually alive. Yeah, they're not alive. It's just them, and it, it's to give you a happy ending. It, it, it is a happy ending because they, light is restored to the world. And they, evil's and gone. Still, you know, they are in the afterlife, and they did get married and all that stuff, and that's nice. I was fine with that ending. Yeah, I think the, the game ended fine. It was just the whole: are they alive or are they dead? And Noctis is clearly dead Noctis by the is end. Dead. He gets oh, oh, he no. kind of gets stabbed. Yeah, 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 he's he's not living. But, um... <laughs> His friends, though, that's questionable. Yeah. Because for those that have played, or, um, yeah, any of those who played or seen, uh, what happens at the end, before the final confrontation, is that, um, or not really the final confrontation, Noctis having to go up and fulfill his duty in, uh, give, bringing light back to the world. Um, Gladio, Ignis, and Prompto stay behind to take on the demons so that way he can fulfill his destiny. Um, and that's the last we see of him. But, yeah, it's the final scene. You see a whole bunch of demons come out of the ground and uh, be, ready, be ready to attack them, and then it fades to uh, Noctis at the throne. There, that would have been so anticlimactic. But even still, yeah. I'm just not sure. Maybe DLC will come out and we'll get the DLC ending that sort of wraps up what happens with these guys. <laughs> the extended version. The, ex the extended cut. What, what was that one game? Ashura's Wrath? Where they ha where you yeah. had to pay for the actual ending? Yeah. That was bullshit, but I, if they pulled this for 15, I'm going to flip. I'm going to be <laughs> angry. But yeah, um, I hope that doesn't happen. But regardless, yeah. um, you know the fact that they're having DLC for Ignis... Uh, Gladio, Pro uh, Prompto. It wouldn't be out of them to do uh, Ignis, Prompto, and Gladio DLC afterwards. I wouldn't put it past them, mate. Yeah, <laughs> because, totally. Because we know that we know e we know where these uh, backs the these episodes are going to play. We know Gladio. It's going to be off in that journey. Ignis. It's going to be you know before he gets blind. And then Prompto is probably going to be when he is either in jail or in the past before he yes. becomes, uh, one of the members. We know where all the um, things are. Okay, in. you... Have you not seen the Brotherhood animations? Okay. Where Prompto, Prompto... If they were to show off how he came to, how he came to be Noctis' friend, um, in, the, in the Brotherhood animation, uh, they... It showed him becoming Noctis' friend uh, from middle school onwards. So he would have had to leave. He would have had to escape many. Uh, he, he was like a child at that point, though. So I'm not sure. Man. But regardless, um, I think it'll be when he's kidnapped. Oh, it it will be. Yep, so and we'll learn more about his backstory, which. It's all good. Yeah, uh, and it's like you—you you could definitely tell these are sections that were pulled. You know, they—they. They, it's like Gladio was very, very blatant. It's just like, oh hi, I'm—I have to do something. Uh, see. Uh, yeah, I'll be back I'll later. Be back later, uh, I'll see you in the DLC <laughs> campaign. <laughs> but Ignis, I felt was a little bit more integrated, and Prompto was, but Gladio, it's just like, well, see ya. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, Prompto is so definitely. Or else I will be guilty about leaving you for the rest of my life so uh just that's gonna be interesting though to be honest to yeah. me because um for those that have seen the dlc or have heard of it gladio goes off to fight gilgamesh and gilgamesh is a long stay uh final fantasy villain a very goofy one at that 
Um, but <laughs> just why is he going off to fight Gilgamesh? That's what I wonder. I hope they actually come up with a plot reason. Uh, yeah, so it's not like, oh hey, I gotta challenge you to stronger myself. I have to go That'd be stupid. On a personal journey to learn of my self. My self worth. And <laughs> fucking berserk this shit. <laughs> Gladio is the um, ever guts. Oh man. Damn it, that is uh, true. Um, no. <laughs> oh, I know. It's because you admit it's true. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, well, that's DLC talk for DLC talk. It's not even out yet. Um, Date the discussion, will I? I want. I do wonder what Ignis's will be about because I believe it would be about the ten-year gap between um, all the events that happen. Which, by the way, that was stupid. Ten-year gap. I figured that we would have gone through all those ten years together with the guys, and it would just progress. Mm -hmm. But no, it's just time skip for time skip reasons. Pretty much. Ah, uh, it's disappointing. But oh well. For the most part, I think it. Uh, like I said, I think that, um, you know, the DLC will be DLC and it'll probably be good. Um, though it doesn't have any connection to the main point, so I don't mind. My, for story reasons, it kind of makes sense why they wouldn't include it in the main story, because it's like, yeah. oh, I, unless that they had it integrated as a separate chapter, but, you know, that's just DLC. It, it, it's, it's, honestly, sad. DLC is DLC, it isn't the main scenario. To at this point, but, you know, yeah. um, it's there if you want to learn more it's not if you don't care about it it's not gonna affect that much but uh mm -hmm. regardless it's like you know and i was bringing up the whole pacing sort of thing it's just the way the game is played out and then suddenly you're just brought on a very linear go from was it chapter chapter nine was it chapter eight chapter, chapter nine? nine okay chapter nine is the big point where it's pure story and then i just and which then I just went in and did the arena for like five hours to get better fishing. Oh, I didn't talk God about that. Damn. The fishing is perfect. And that there is no <sighs> other thing to, that I need to say. Moving on. <laughs> well then. <laughs> fishing is perfect. Fishing is life. It is definitely one of the best fishing Final mini games fishing of 15. everything. Fishing Fantasy 15. Fishing Fantasy 15, I hate. Fishing Fantasy 15. Big fish, big fish's adventure, whatever. God damn. This is just this, okay. They, they better have an alternate ending where not just you're just like fuck the world. I'm just gonna fish for the rest of my life. Alternate ending where he fishes up Leviathan. <laughs> he fishes up Leviathan. Instead of the boss fight that you're given, it's just you fishing he him fishes up. Fishes up the rig. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and then becomes a giant fish monster, and then you fish him up. Ah, shit. And then he eats you, and then... <laughs> Think about it now, they could do it as a bullshit. And then, he, the, and then he come... Arden, when you catch him, he eats you, and then you do some light attack and sort of stuff, and then you take out all the darkness within him, and then you die at the same time, and you save the world. By fishing! <laughs> oh, he stabs man. you with the fishing rod. Perfect. You, that, gave, that gave me a question that I just thought of. Why is a fishing rod not an actual, like, joke weapon? <laughs> because you don't think you about don't it. break the fishing rod. It's the most oh, important part. Oh, yeah, there's durability stuff. Um, but, you know what? Why not have it? Th that really needs to be a thing in the DLC, though. Is joke weaponry. <laughs> That'd be really sweet. I hope they do. I hope they do. Um, I want the hammer thing from, uh... I want the hammer thing from the platinum demo. The little squeak toy. But, you know, I don't know. Yep. I'm really happy with this game. I am too. I'm just I'm so glad it's it's finally out there after ten years. It feels like they made a build only three, four years ago and that's what we have right now, and that they had to rush it out. But. Yeah, for the most part, and that seems to be what they actually did. But, you know, um, 
like I said, the biggest problem, and I want to talk about this some because we've been alluding through <laughs> alluding to it throughout the whole discussion. But you know, the way that the game is paced, it's like after you go through the city, you know, you, you don't have access to the stamina. You're just walking very, very slowly for the most part. You can't run. And then, you know, you're just sort of walking from point to point. You talk to someone, you go to another, and then it's cutscene, dialogue, cutscene, dialogue. Then you have a Leviathan boss fight, which, by the way, is basically perfect perfect chaos, except a little bit better. It's so much better. Uh, it's like, okay, <laughs> even, even though I did enjoy the fight, I can't deny that I'm basically moving left and right and holding B. Oh, it was so easy, honestly, but... And they do it for the final boss, and, you know... Oh, can I say, though... The final boss, to me anyway, it was really fun. I did. I thought it was I super cool. I enjoyed the first part where he can teleport and actually strike you from far yeah, away. Yeah, it's like fighting. It's like fighting a doppelganger, and that made it Honestly, so much better for me. I would me. Have liked to have a full fight with that, or I would have liked that part to be longer. And then you go to the other part, and I'm just moving left and right and holding stuff because he's not doing that. It's like it's like watching Super Saiyan fights in Dragon Ball Z, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just with Lost that, Swords. It's like I did enjoy the final boss, um, but I won't deny that I um, that I did think the final boss. It's like the second phase was a bit weak because it did not take any effort for me to be able to just finish that. No, it was a very easy final the boss. The first phase was good, 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 good. It was so good. Um, it's kind of like the opposite of Metal Gear Rising, where the first phase of the final boss kind of sucks, and then the second it's phase is really great. sweet. Great, it really makes up. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's like, but, it, it, and you know the reason? It's like, you know, you have the one-on-one -on -one confrontation uh, at the very end of the Metal Gear Rising, but in this one, yeah, it's at the very beginning, and then it sort of goes into something else for the last part. But, um, yeah, I just find those sort of encounters uh, uh, really, really fun. I just would have liked for him to, you know use like i said use the same abilities i would have liked for that to be actually stretched out and made the full boss but but then yeah. they wanted to do the whole other thing i would have been fine with that as a second phase and then it goes and maybe you just have a one-on-one -on -one encounter maybe he drains all your power uh but they technically have it but it's just a pretty much a cutscene at that point with yeah you just pressing a few buttons okay what's eh. eh. It sucks. It's okay, that's another thing that bothers me. Is that the final cutscene where where Noctis finally takes down Arden in, in, uh, in the light realm, whatever? What is that? The void? <laughs> it might as well be. It was. It was. It, it was it, on the. Okay. It was actually established to be, you know, the journey to the afterlife. Okay, that's what it is. So, yeah, if, because remember, Arden, if they said if they said that's the void, said see uh, see you in the afterlife. See you in the afterlife. So yeah, I didn't think he actually thought it would work. Yeah, yeah, he didn't <laughs> think that he would be stripped of all his powers. Noctis would actually come by and whoop his ass. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. Well, um, um, if it if it was if they called it the void, I would have loved an X Def <laughs> reference from Five because it, you don't know you haven't played Five. But the main villain, he's a tree, but um, you send him into the void where he lives the rest of his days there at the end of the game. And if I, if you just saw him floating around in 15, that would have been a really nice gag. Oh, oh. But it's also the final scene. Mm -hmm. uh, did you also... But what, what, what I was trying to say was that, that, that one single button prompt during that cutscene, why is it there? It okay, it's just why I, I was I, I put that. my controller down I for that. I saw that and then I picked up. I, I was the opposite. I picked up my controller because I yeah. knew that they would do it quick. No, no, I did the same thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh shit, press no, a button. No, no, what <laughs> happened was I picked it up before because I knew, like, okay, they're totally gonna do a quick time event, and then I did it. So I was actually the opposite. I just uh, sort of trained for those sorts of things because I know when they are gonna force in that sort of last minute. You do the final blow. Um, which is honestly much more effective in something like Metal Gear Rising, or Metal Gear, uh, actually, I'm not gonna talk about that, because that's a fucking spoiler, uh, for Metal Gear Solid, yeah. so, you know, um, <laughs> I I'm gonna make this accessible, and not spoil other series, but, um, regardless, um, I did, uh, did you notice the, um, f when you actually are approaching the final boss, I believe, or maybe the, la uh, one of the last missions, they actually have a Final Fantasy VI reference, I looked it up. Uh, which, w what part? It was right, it was either right before you enter the castle or when you're going uh, and on your way to there. Because it's, um, 
it, it was a reference what to, was it specifically it was a reference to it was a reference to a, a few lines of dialogue at the very end of the game um end of final um, Fantasy VI. but it, it was it was supposed to be a callback i wouldn't know because i haven't played it but i looked up and people said yeah this was um but regardless um it, it, it um and you know we could talk about that off call but there are a lot of those sort of neat little nods to the Final Fantasy series. I just don't recognize. There's them. definitely a lot, and I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, but um, and you know, but and you know, and I, it's just the sort of we're going back and forth on this sort of spoiler discussion. We're not having it very structured because there's a lot to talk about. It is um, but you know, once again, this game this game is fucking Final Fantasy yeah, six. Uh, <laughs> but. But I'm happy with that because six is my favorites. So. <laughs> but yeah, um, Final Fantasy, uh, 15's tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth. You're just mostly going, doing some dialogue, walking to this place, and then you may do a few action scenes, or you know, chapter eleven being. I believe chapter eleven was the really short one where you're just with Prompto, and you just you just do one big action sequence, and that's it. Um, the way the game handles the chapter, it is a little disjointed, and the pacing's all over the place. Uh, 13, chapter 13 is a fucking mess. I don't think it's, Dude, I don't think it's definitely. as bad as people made it out to be, I, but because it's perfectly playable, and it's not, um... It's playable, it's, I mean, okay, can we talk about the f stupid stealth argument? There's no reason for That's, it. That's, there's no reason for the stealth, but there's also... No reason for anyone to really complain about it if it's not needed. Yeah, it's just, you, know? you know, I don't even know why they. Bother. It's there. You don't even need to. You don't need to bother it's like, with it. And they very clearly intended it to be a stealth sequence because it's like these axe people. They have that sort of unnerving sound. But why be? Stealth? They're very like threat threatening looking guys, and then you can hide in the little cracks in the walls. Like oh, why? If, if I can you, just run past you, you and be if fine. If you do hide in the cracks when they notice you, they'll pull you. They'll like take you by the shoulder and throw you right to the ground it's dude that's that's terrifying yeah, it would be terrifying and then they give you an instant kill weapon what's the point yeah it's like okay and none of that what that enemy does not have an ability to stagger you he can't so just hold a r and y oh he doesn't no i was scared that he no. would press hold down r and y you know r and y that sort of you can yeah. be able to do that. Wait, R and Y. R what R the R fuck? Are you playing R us on Xbox oh, One? Bad. R one and triangle. <laughs> my bad. R one and triangle. You know that. that <laughs> oh yeah, the uh, the Ultima attack, yeah. which I, I had him hit me several times. I'm still in the air and it still activates. Oh, that we that weapon always le that weapon ignores stagger, yeah. or that attack yeah, ignores stagger. So my bad. What I do? I just run up to him, do that. Just hold it down. He can't do anything. Yeah. So what's the point of the stealth? It's you told me to run at past everything. It's not I was just like no. I'm just gonna walk up right to him and do it, not have to worry about him. It's like I saw the <laughs> wait. No, that's that. That's what I meant. My yeah, bad. Yeah. Uh, I worded a very yeah, but very I was wrong like, way. I looked up uh, a guide one time because I actually did get lost at one point, and this one guy was just he was just dodging the entire time and doing the holy attack. I'm like, no, just press R1 and triangle. Just <laughs> you'll kill him instantly. Just use Ultima. Yeah, I mean you can do it. Um, you can just... I, I, I honestly really... I love the way the animations are for when you can use the holy oh, it's counter. Funny. It's funny, but it, it's, it makes... It's cool looking to me. I would put in the stealth and then give you this weapon to sort of counteract it. I mean, to be <laughs> fair, I would have hated the stealth sequence. It would have been really, really atrocious, but... It would have it would have been like the one of the Metal Gear Solid sections where you lose everything and then get everything and, back. Or, for a better example, would be Metroid game, Zero Mission. Very, near the end of the game, for no reason, and it would have dragged the pace down, because you can't run in these sequences. Only when you're caught. And that's my biggest problem. Because if I can run through this... You can kind of no, run, no, no, but then I your mean stamina is, bar depletes. I mean is, you're just... No, you mean as in, like, full-on sprint. What I mean is... I, uh, there's walking, there's briskly jogging, and then there's running. <laughs> yeah. Briskly walking is probably the best term, because that's all you're doing. And, you know, if I could run through it, I wouldn't have an issue, because, you know, it's it's faster. Yeah. And it's like, if he alerts you to it, th there's no reason for them to turn it off. It's like, other than sorry excuse being careful, I don't care about story excuses. I Actually, just want to be able to get through it as fast as possible. Actually, I, I think... 
I think that's happened more than once in the story, yeah, is yeah. especially in the dungeons, is that if if the party senses imminent danger, they will just start going at a very slow pace, and it bothers the living hell out it's of me. It's probably one of... It, it, it happens so much at the end of the game. Like, you know, you're walking... It's like, it, it was like that one town. They had it in that one town, and you could run everywhere else. Uh, in Lestalem, I believe. And then uh, in the end game... Yes, like Lestalem. It was like the train station, you can only briskly jog. So, um... And I was really, really missing the whole... Because in Xenoblade Chronicles X, you know what you can do? You can... Can you just sprint everywhere? No, I mean, yes, there is no stamina. There's no stamina for one thing. And the second thing is that you can actually, you know, um, you can hold down two buttons and then put your controller down and the character will run in one direction the entire time without any input on you. Auto it's run. Auto run. Yeah. I would have really okay. liked the auto run feature because then I could just walk to my destination and pull out Twitter and do it the entire time and not have a problem at all. <laughs> that's the car. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the car, but I want to be able to have that for running. <laughs> you mean it's in just like on yeah, foot? On foot on fit because you could do that and that is one thing i'll give xenoblade over this because i think this game is far better than that but um i do have my issues with like chapter 11 and it's like when uh, okay when ignis becomes blind and they're all saying hey hey don't run ahead i don't even know what happens if you leave ignis behind but they just they just yell you and i think you actually get a game over if you get too far really? away from him he, yeah he'll just wander off and fucking fall off a cliff really? <laughs> Uh, no, I don't think so, but I know that you can get a game over you a ga if you go too far ahead. You can get a game over if you too. Yeah, and I don't know what happens if you decide to leave him behind, because honestly, I feel so bad for him at that point that I had to bring him along for I that did, section. did you get a game over, or did you look that up? I didn't get a game over, but I did look it, it up. Game it, it just says, oh, he, he, fell, he fell too far behind and he died. You, you went too far ahead. Ignis is di Ignis died. Well then, so like, what extent is too far? I it gives you a lot of, of uh, leeway. Yeah, it does. I know like, that much. Know, I, I didn't know if I was getting a game over, so I would just crawl through that dungeon. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm looking up uh, guides right now. No matter what, Ignis will fall. Would will come with you during the journey uh, th through that dungeon. No matter what. Yeah, he'll he'll just say no. You're, I'm coming with you. But yep, you do get a game over if that if you do go too far ahead. Yeah, that's scary. And it, it's um, because of but it, it does give you a lot of it leeway, does, but it and makes, it, it warns you it multiple makes times. The dungeon go by so slowly, and it can't. It is a very slow dungeon. And that, yes. I honestly, if I'm gonna be honest, I found that worse than Chapter Thirteen. Actually, yeah, uh, thirteen. That, you can go. You can go kind of fast, and you don't have to worry about anything but behind it's like you. I was trying. I was also like trying to see if there was like an item I had to pick up or something like that. You really don't want to explore that. Did place. you get the? Did you get any magic tech core while you're in I there? Would, by the I, way, maybe I don't know. Okay. Um. Well. I. But you know, even still, it was a frustrating dungeon. Because I didn't know if you did get a game over for that. I was tempted to test, but I figured that maybe something would happen and I would have to go back and get them and that would be... It would be... It would be but a pain. But even still, yeah. I do take issue with that. But, um... Yes, those are the worst parts of the game. And, you know, um... Some people do exaggerate the problems, though. Because I think that, you know, the combat and the score... The soundtrack... I didn't even talk about the soundtrack. I love this soundtrack. Oh, my God. This freaking soundtrack is oh yeah oh yeah i, I love it i <laughs> forgot to talk about that in the non-spoiler but veiled in black all uh, the well, final i'll put in all I'll, the yeah um all the boss the themes all the battle themes phenomenal they got a full orchestra and you can tell they put all of their budget into this this is one yeah of the there's soundtrack. no fake instrumentation is, this is one of the best soundtracks i've ever heard it is phenomenal amazing did did you buy the soundtrack on uh, Google Play? Um, I have the digital one on my PS4. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, just random tangent. But all the all the 
pre-order DLC bullshit for this game has gotten stupid. There's stuff that Sly has that I can't get. He has a car skin that I want. He has a digital sound. Actually, no, I got the soundtrack. Actually, RPG. Actually, RPG girl. She, um, someone we know. She actually got, um, the. She got the del She got the best edition, she which was the, like she, almost three hundred dollars. Super edition, um, which is three hundred dollars. Yeah, it came with a figurine, uh, an art book, and I think a physical you soundtrack. Know, I really think they should have just let her have all the DLC because or just have all the dlc because you went so far out of your way and i she doesn't have the theme that i have she doesn't have the car skin that i have there's still parts that she's missing in fact i don't think she got any of the pre-order dlc because she got it from square enix's store so she got whatever they had so i still think it and it's from different sites and it's just oh it's a mess so if you wanted to have both like if you want to have the royal skin and you wanted to have if the you wanted to have everything in this game you'd have to spend like all the pre-order stuff you'd have to spend probably close to a thousand dollars i may be exaggerating it but it's still that sort of DLC yes. policy thing it just bothers me and it's just it's, re looking, it's going to be released eventually are you sure but because i'm not even sure they're gonna I, do that okay even metal gear risings stuff from konami they had pre-order dlc for ver for like three or four different uh stores yeah. and um they they just made it all dlc purchasable but off the store people, uh within there a are year some companies who don't do it like you know you know sega do you think square enix you know sega with sonic Generation? okay sega because they, they yeah because they had the casino I mean, no they released on, casino on night steam. on steam not on PSN. Not on, on Steam, X not on PS3. Not on Steam or not on That's SBLA stupid. or uh, PSN. Just Steam. And so it's like you know, if you wanted to get it, it's like someone did a search and it just said locked. It's in the game. It is physically there, but it is locked, and no one else can be able to download it. Only people who pre-ordered it um, from retailers that gave pre-order and Steam. Pre-order or and Steam. Those are the only places you can be able to play that thing. Otherwise, it is locked from forever from the game. So whether Square Enix will do it or not, we'll see. Maybe they won't. Maybe I'm, they will. I'm very curious. But I am very curious. And very they are, scared. they are pretty okay on DLC uh, stuff. They, I'm hoping that they, that they do what Konami did and just release it after a specific six time. Because that three, six months. Six months. Six, six months is yeah. too long. I would rather it all be up at three months. And even. I, I, I want my I want my 8-bit car. <laughs> sure you don't want me to record it, and then you can see the 8-bit car driving everywhere. Duh. I, 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 you haven't shown off your car on um on Twitter oh, stuff. I haven't, no. But, um, I, I, I also don't brag all that much about that sort of thing, except for internet. Uh, this. Except for <laughs> internet um, download speeds and upload speeds i'll always uh, brag about that and in uh unlimited data on my phone plan you know Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> this is what money can do kids Except we didn't have to pay any extra money we just got a special deal promotion with t-mobile and so we just have it for life and we don't have to pay a yearly fee for it so ha ha i should look into that myself uh it's not up anymore Oh shit! God, <laughs> I'm stuck with poverty internet. You see, this is why you don't see many uploads from me, and you see it more from Sly. <clears throat> I hardly upload anything. Oh, you're talking about from TSC? Yeah, I'm mostly the guy who's yeah. uploading stuff because it takes me like a couple <laughs> hours. Ran random note. I, I mean, I can I can just put links in the description for whenever we whenever we do the rambling and section it all off. But random note. I may be the leader here, but he does all the work. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Uh, but you know. Anyway. But, you know, um, but anyways. On. Uh, is there anything else we need to talk about? Oh, visuals. visuals. I think it's just. The oh, game looks good. This game is beautiful. Game looks good. It. I wish it was in 60 FPS, but it still looks. Fucking yeah, fabulous. the 60 frames per second is a problem, but, you know, and they said they'd have a 60 frames per second patch for PS Pro, but they haven't done it yet. You don't have Pro, I though. don't, but, you know, it, it's like, you know, there are some people who have the Pro, and they're still waiting, because Square Enix promised. It will be out eventually, we'll I assure you. It's only been a month. It's only been a month. Yeah. We'll see. But regardless, um, regardless, the game looks good. 
Yeah, it it definitely does, and uh, the visual there, effects there are very nice. There were times where I definitely just sat and just enjoyed the view. Enjoyed, you know... Oh, it's why I love you staying in the car so much. Mm -hmm. I really do love all the color filters that they have. It's like, you know, I really do like night and day effects in these sorts of games, and it's like, only oh, it's a so, few, it's only so a pretty, few eh? games can really pull it off, but um, only a few games have truly pulled it off, and I think this game nails it. It just looks great. Also, the, I, this this is this is all over the place on uh, Twitter and any social media. But have you got any really big glitches? I've had a few. Um, probably the biggest one is that two of my NPCs disappeared mid dungeon, and then they reappeared at the very end uh, for because a cutscene. Yeah, you told me about that one. Other than um, that. I was shocked at the amount of things that people saw because otherwise it's like I mentioned a few things. Yeah, just and like then it ended up being my fault. Um, but I haven't seen too many big ones. Me personally, I haven't. I mean, the most I've seen is someone walking halfway through the ground <laughs> at yeah. one point, but that was just once, and that was at launch. At most okay, no, there's one more. There's one more. At uh, Golden Keep, there's a little cave area. Um, and I saw, like, a little green light out. I was like, okay, that that looks shiny. I should go over there and investigate. So I get closer to it. That's really bright. I get up next to it. God damn, my screen's green! <laughs> it, so, it, 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 and when I looked away, it took a second for it to go back to normal. But it's just, like, a, a light problem most... that happened. And it isn't there anymore. It's just, just weird. Yeah, uh, most stuff can be solved with a reload anyway. So it's not like it's too big of a deal. But other than that, I think we've covered this extensively, a little bit more extensively than I imagined, but there's... We doubled over a time that we were originally yeah, planning. but even still, I enjoyed the game, you enjoyed the game, so... so I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I would give it... We'll play uh, again. I will give it an 8 out of 10 as well, if, if I had to score the game. I think the game is absolutely solid and is something that everyone should at least experience. The score on Metacritic is definitely justified i think the game has a few issues some few major issues that really hold it back from being a complete and total masterpiece i, I told the positive the positives definitely outweigh the yes, negatives for yes, me so that's what I i'll say worth, i even think it's worth the 60 dollars price but you know they've been there's been a few discounts it's like i remember i saw it for 40 i'm like get on that definitely oh it's it's been on a lot of deals recently and because of the holiday season coming up and i bet you it's going to stay like this yeah. for maybe a few weeks yeah, so um Tell her get on this. Yeah. yeah, I think it's a fantastic game, but um, otherwise, I think we've covered everything extensively, so let's end this off. Hope you guys enjoyed listening to us ramble about a game that we really enjoy. Yep, yep. and we'll see you all in the next commentary, which will be someday. <laughs> someday, when we, <laughs> we, uh, yeah, we actually do something. Oh, yes. So, uh, no, we'll just put an update video or whatever later. So, Alrighty. I'll see you guys all next time. Later. Cup Noodle 15, Ataru.